Hey there! In this video, we're diving into everything you need to know about OBD2 trouble code P0020. First, let's understand what the P0020 code is. The P1020 code means that the ECM has detected a circuit issue with the solenoid actuator that directs oil pressure to the engine's variable valve timing system. It indicates an issue with the camshaft position actuator circuit for Bank 2, specifically refers to the intake camshaft. Now, let's learn why P1020 was triggered. The camshaft position sensor measures the position of the camshaft and sends this signal to the ECU. The ECU then sends a pulse command to the variable valve timing, VVT, solenoid, to advance or delay the cam position based on the engine load and speed. The VVT solenoid adjusts the cam phaser accordingly. In the case of V6 or V8 engines, there are two camshafts, Bank 1 and Bank 2. For dual overhead camshaft, DOHC engines, there are two camshafts per bank, intake and exhaust. When the ECU detects that the Bank 2 intake camshaft position is not reaching the targeted cam angle, it triggers OBD2 code P720. Now that we know what the P1020 OBD2 codes, let's dive into the symptoms of P1020. Cam angle is very crucial parameter in engine management systems to optimize the engine's performance. Due to the P1020 code, there may be an issue in engine performance. Cam angle is only one of several engine management parameters used by the ECU. The ECU also relies on other EMS sensor inputs. To learn more about sensors of the engine management system, you can check our detailed video on car EMS sensors. Check the link in the corner. Why? Symptom number one, check engine light. The check engine light comes on if there are any active trouble codes related to EMS. Symptom number two, poor engine performance. Problems in the cam position actuator circuit can lead to incorrect cylinder valves opening and closing. This can manifest as rough idle, hesitation, reduced power, sluggish acceleration. Symptom number three, decreased fuel efficiency. Wrong valve opening and closing due to P1020 lead to incomplete combustion of fuel, which leads to poor fuel economy. Now that we understand the symptoms of P1020, let's delve into the causes of P1020. The P1020 code may be triggered due to several causes. To ensure the root cause of the P1020 code, check other activated OBD2 codes. These other activated OBD2 codes may indicate malfunctions in other engine management system components, which may be the root cause of the P1020 code. You can find our playlist on the meaning and causes of each OBD2 code. The link is in the corner. Cause number one, bad camshaft position sensor. Due to the malfunction of the camshaft position sensor, the ECU may detect an engine timing error, which may trigger P1020 and other OBD2 codes related to camshaft position sensors, along with symptoms of a bad camshaft position sensor. Check our detailed video to learn more about the symptoms of a bad camshaft position sensor and related OBD2 codes. Link in the corner. Cause number two, bad VVT solenoid. Due to bad VVT solenoid, the camshaft position advance and delay may not work properly, which may trigger P1020 and other OBD2 codes related to VVT solenoid, along with symptoms of a bad VVT solenoid. Check our detailed video to learn more about the symptoms of a bad VVT solenoid and related OBD2 codes. Link in the corner. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.